Coming up, I'll give you a tour of Microsoft Teams and some recent updates, including public Teams and how you can find and join them, integrations with email and other new cloud services, and improvements to calendar and meetings. And for IT admins, I'll show you Compliance Search and eDiscovery. Microsoft Teams is the new chat-based workspace in Office 365. Since our November preview, more than 50,000 organizations have tried it out. Today, we're announcing general availability with a lot of updates. We're also turning Teams on by default for Office 365 commercial customers. As you can see in the app launcher here. So to get started, I'll go ahead and click on the Teams icon, and it launches straight into our web app. I can download the desktop app by clicking here. I've actually already got it installed, so let's hop over there. And you can see that I'm on a few different teams already. These teams are organized into channels, which is really just an easy way to organize chat and files by topic. Now, one of these teams is called Project Redstone. It looks like it's got some secret confidential information on it. Let's keep that in mind for later. If I want to join or create another team, I just go down here and click on Add Team. And I get this really nice gallery of teams presented to me. New for GA, we have these public teams, which are teams that anybody in the company can join. And this list of suggested teams comes straight from the Microsoft Graph, which is kind of cool. I can also search up here and find other teams if I want. Let's go ahead and join this one here. Click Join Team. Looks kind of interesting. And we'll hop over to the general channel and see what's going on. OK, so we have a pretty rich chat conversation going on here. We've got people talking about documents. You can see here we've got some threaded conversations. We've got some stickers. We've got a custom sticker. We've got emojis. Hey, what is this? Let's take a look here. This is some rich formatted text, but there's something really special about this. All of this was done straight from the keyboard using our new support for Markdown. The bullet is created just with the star. Code is created with the back quotes. And there's a bunch of other Markdown syntax that we support as well. It's pretty cool. Sometimes the information that you want to get into your team doesn't always come from chat. It could come from email or any other source. Well, new for GA, we have support for sending email straight into your team. Let me show you how that works. So I'm over here in Outlook. And I got a message from Jeremy with a market research report that he wants me to share. I guess it's his, his account on Outlook.com that he wants me to share with my team. So I go back over to my team. Maybe I'll drop it into the general channel. So let me do uh, get email address for this channel. And then I go and copy that. Go to Outlook. Here's that email that I want to send in. I'll go to Forward, put the email in here, maybe put a little note to my team, and then I go and click Send. I'll hop back over to Teams, and there it is. I've got the importance, of course. I've got my rich formatting coming through, and that attachment that was on the email, that's uploaded into my Teams SharePoint site, where every other file that my team has access to is also stored. There's another big update for GA that is very important to us, and that's our investment in screen reader support, high contrast, and keyboard navigation, which reflect Microsoft's strong accountability to universal design and accessibility across our products. So we've seen the chat stream here. Now let's listen to how it sounds to a visually impaired user. I've got the JAWS screen reader installed, and my insertion point is here replying to this message. I'll go ahead and type a message and send, and you'll hear what JAWS says. You can navigate through the product using the common Office shortcuts like Control F6, Tab, and Shift Tab, making this a very accessible experience. Before I move on, I want to call out one more new feature for GA. That's the ability to follow a channel. Now, if you've been using Teams, you already know you can get a notification anytime someone at mentions you, plus see when somebody likes or replies to your messages. Now, with follow a channel, you can also get notified when anybody posts in a specific channel. Go to the channel, click dot, 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 and click Follow a Channel. OK, so that's the heart of Teams chat. Then around that, we have all these other capabilities, really everything else a team needs in one place. A big part of that story is tabs, which are a great way to customize your team environment. We start with files, of course, straight from SharePoint. New for GA, we have a note-taking canvas with built-in support for at mentions and chat threads. Microsoft Stream is an enterprise video portal that you can integrate directly into your team. When I click on the plus here, you see a big gallery of tabs that we have available, Microsoft services and plenty of third-party companies integrating with us as well. Another way of adding other apps and services into your team 
is via Office 365 connectors. Connectors let me integrate with a wide range of services that feed content straight into messages that post into my Teams channel. Personally, I like the generic webhook, which lets me combine Microsoft Flow with anything else to push almost anything you can imagine into a team. And of course, another way of getting apps and services into Teams is through bots. Click over here, and I can bring up a list of the bots that are available in Teams at GA. You can not only chat with these bots one-on-one, -on -one, but several of them also work within a team context. My favorite is Growbot, which is a great way to share kudos and give praise to other people on your team. All right, so let's switch gears here and go over to private chat. You can see I have a few private chats here as well. And new for GA, I can take a group chat and give it a name to make it easy to come back and find it later. Now, something else going on here. We've invested a lot in calling and meetings. Down here at the bottom of the private chat, I've got a meetings button. I click on that, and I bring up a meetings scheduling form where I can choose who I want to meet with. I can specify the time. I have a scheduling assistant, so I can see free busy across everybody's calendar. And I can also set a recurrence pattern and then schedule that meeting. It shows up in Outlook. It's ready for everybody to join online. So we've had calling built into Microsoft Teams since preview. But now we're extending that to our mobile clients, initially iOS and Android. And on iOS, we have native call kit support. Let me show you how that works. So I've got Jeremy's phone here. Let me go ahead and give him a call. And you'll see when the call comes in, it looks just like getting a call from anybody else over the cellular network. Our iOS and Android clients are also now covered by the device management policies in Microsoft Intune. So those are some of the end user updates we made to Microsoft Teams around chat, accessibility, and meetings and calling. Now, for IT users, we focused on a few other things. First, Teams is now on by default for all licensed users. You can see here, within the licensing UI, I can simply turn it on and off on a per user basis or go in through PowerShell. All the other settings are exactly where they were before, under Settings, Services and Add-ins, and then Microsoft Teams. Now, I've probably saved our most important update for last. Let's take a look at security and compliance. A few minutes ago, we saw the term Redstone mentioned in the private team. That's a confidential term, and I want to make sure nobody is using it in the wrong place. Here I am in the Office 365 Security and Compliance Center. I have a compliance content search rule looking for that specific term, Redstone. And so let's click on one of these results. So here are the results showing me where that term has been mentioned. Now it looks like all the places it's been covered are the teams where I'm expecting it to be covered. So I don't think we have any risk here. In addition to compliance search, for GA, we also have e-discovery, event auditing, and legal hold, a full set of enterprise security features built into Office 365. That was a quick overview of the latest updates to Microsoft Teams, which is now generally available. We'll continue rolling out new capabilities in the coming weeks and months, along with lots more integrations from our partners. Also, check out our earlier show on Microsoft Teams for an overview of other core functionality. Try it for yourself and keep giving us your feedback. Thanks for watching.